Hey guys, it's Kelly France with another episode of Mean Girl Monday. And today we're gonna to be talking about your menstrual mean girl. It's a thing guys. And I'm referring to when Aunt Flo comes to visit, when you're riding the Crimson Wave, when it's Shark Week, you know what I'm talking about, right? So I wanna share four ways to combat your menstrual mean girl, to drop kick your menstrual mean girl. And they all start with R's because I'm an alliteration nerd. So the first R is to record. Make sure you're recording when your period comes and goes. Um, this is something I wish I had done as a teenager because I would always, whenever my period would come, I would be super moody and my self-esteem would go down the drain and I would just question myself and then I'd realize, oh, my, I just like, oh, my period just started. No wonder, no wonder, but it, I never recorded. So I asked some of my Empower Tribe what they do to dropkick their menstrual mean girl. And one of them said they use the clue period and cycle tracker to record it. Um, and then the next R is to recognize your menstrual mean girl. Um, recognize when it's happening. Recognize that this is this too shall pass. It's just like a monthly thing. And um, I loved this response from Polly, who's in my Empower Tribe. She said, okay, first step is I own that my biatchi attitude is indeed my menstrual mean girl. Let's call her Molly, which is mean Polly. <laughs> she said, and then I let my family know that she has arrived and then I get space from them. Spend more time alone. It's better for me to be away from them during that time than present and saying things I don't mean that Molly makes me say. Last time I told my husband, FYI, I'm raging and hormonal, which I love that word. I think I need some space today so I don't hurt anyone's feelings and give me lots of hugs today, please. That was such good advice. Giving yourself space, recognizing that it's that she's there. And then the third R is relax. Just kind of like give yourself some grace, give yourself some downtime um, because your body's, you know, going through stuff and you might need to chill a little. And lots of ladies in the um, that I asked said chocolate. Um, some of them said Diet Coke, nachos, Netflix binging, um, taking a bath, but really just like giving yourself a lot of grace and just relaxing. And then the final to the final R is read personal development. And you don't have to actually read it. You can listen to it on Audible. You can read it on your phone on the Kindle app. But personal development books are so helpful especially during the time that your menstrual mean girl comes to visit um because you need those uplifting positive words and um that extra boost to drop kick your inner mean girl so i hope those tips helped if you have some good tips too comment below and share those with me and we'll see you next week bye